In this video, I'll show you how to crossplay between Java and Bedrock on Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing, and once you've done that, please consider leaving a like, and let's get right into this. The first thing you need to do is head into a web browser, and this can be any, and then just go to a search engine, and you can use any as well. Then what we want to do is go to a website called Atenos. If you didn't know, Atenos is a free Minecraft hosting platform, which we can go and utilize for this crossplay guide. So go and type it in A-T-E-R-N-O-S, just like so, and go and search for that. And the website is atenos.org. So come to the website and then you need to scroll down and go and tap on play. Then what you'll need to do is if you don't already have an account, go and tap sign up and go and create one. If you already have one, then go and log in. When you first sign in or go and create your account, you'll then be taken to this service page and there's going to be a big create button. In my case, it's small because I already have some servers. But anyways, just go and tap on create just like so. Then what you need to do is just go and um, tap on Java edition and then you can go and type in the name for your server. So I'm just going to go and name this guide realm crossplay like so and then go and tap on create just like so. And the first thing we need to go and do is go and change the software. So scroll down until you go and see the option with software just like so and go on to the right and press change. You can also go and change the software on the left. Then go and tap on change like this. Then what you want to do is go and use the paper slash bucket option. So tap here. And we want to go and get the most recent version. So we'll just go and use 1.19.3. So tap here. You may get some ads. It's just because it keeps the platform free. Then what you need to do is go and tap install like so. And then you'll see this cir circling cog and wait for it to finish. And now it's gone and finished. So what we now need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on plugins just like so. Then what we need to do is go to the search box and what we're going to do is go and search for something called Gazer. Gazer is a plugin which is going to go and allow us to do this crossplay. So you spell it G E Y S E R just like this and hit search. There are five different options, but don't worry, I'll be telling you the ones that you need. So the first one you need is this one here, just Geyser MC. So go and tap on it like so and here it is. Then what you want to do is go over to the left hand side and get the most recent one. In this case, it's this one here. So go and press on that sort of download install button on the right hand side and wait for it to finish. And once it's got the tick, you then want to go press the back button so we go back to the search. And the next one we need is the Geyser Skin Manager. So tap here like so. And then what we need to do is go and get the most recent version of this as well. As you can see, it is 1.6. So I'll go and tap on the download button like so. And it's now downloading. And like that, it's now gone and finished. So you can go and press the back button again. And these other two, these are more optional, um, but you just primarily need these two here. Now, the next thing we need to go and do is find the port for our server. So to do that, all you need to do is go over to the left hand side and go and tap on server like this. Then you need to go and tap on connect like this. And as you can see, here is the port. Everyone's port is going to be different. So all you need to do is highlight it like so, then right click on it and press copy, or you could just remember it, but I prefer to copy it. And then what we need to do is go and add this to our files for Minecraft Bedrock. So to do that, all you need to do is go over to the left and go and tap on files and then go into plugins. And once you're in plugins, then what you need to do is go and tap on Geyser Spigot like this, not the jar one, just a normal Geyser Spigot one, and then go and tap on config.yml like so, and it's going to go and open up this file. Now what you need to do is go and find port. As you can see, here's the first one. There's going to be two. Go and delete the 1932 like so, make sure you keep the space, and then just go and right click and click paste to go and paste the one we just copied. And there should be another, so keep scrolling down. As you can see, here it is. Then you can go and paste in your port like so, and that should be them all. Now what you need to do is go and tap on save in the top right like so, and it's now gone and saved. Now what we can do is go and launch a server and go and try this. So let's go to the top right and go and press on server like so, and then we'll go and press on start. And now let's go and open up Minecraft. Firstly, we'll join the server on Minecraft Java, and then we'll go and join it on Minecraft Bedrock. So let's go and grab the IP quickly. Here it is. So let's go and highlight it, then right click and press copy, and then go into Minecraft and then go multiplayer, add server, and then paste it in new control V, and then you can hear us done. And here it is. We're now going to quickly join it. So I'll show you what the spawn looks like, and then we can go and join it on Bedrock and show it looks exactly the same. We'll just mine a hole here just to prove um, that it is really the same world. Here we are on Minecraft Bedrock. So go and tap on play like so. And then what you need to do is tap on servers, then scroll down and go and tap on add server right at the bottom. We'll then press proceed. And then what we need to do is enter the server IP and the port. So we'll go and grab that from Atenos. So go and tap on connect, like I said before. And then as you can see, we get the port um, and we also go and get the IP. So let's go and copy this and we'll paste it in here. And then we'll do the exact same thing for the port as well. We'll go and grab this here. 
copy it and then paste it in. I'll just name this guide like so and then go and tap on play like so and we're now connecting to it now. And here we are, the world has just loaded and this is literally it guys. I can now run around and this is the exact same world. As you can see, here's this little hole I dug 